We're in the fourth quarter now, so the question becomes, what kind of quarter are we going to have? Is it going to be a continuation of the cyclical bull market that started in February of this year? Or is this pretty much the best we're going to get out of the market in 2016? And are we into a riskier phase in 2017? Well, we would uh, point, point out that the breadth of the market has been very good. We're starting to see from what began with the cyclicals performing well, um, and then eventually the defensive sector started to retreat. These were all signs that the market was going to be sustainable. And since then, the advance has broadened out into emerging markets, into sectors that hadn't participated. And we have gotten some numbers that were similar to what we saw after the 2009 bottom and after the 2011 bottom. So this together with an environment that remains accommodative, uh, an environment where now we've started to see the uh, economic growth come through, the breadth of the PMIs is reflective and consistent with the breadth of the market. And this all is supporting the idea that earnings growth is going to continue to improve from a trough. Uh, the contrast to last year when we had this earnings slowdown and a trough in earnings, now earnings um, are likely to surprise on the upside. And this can be another source of encouragement to the market as we go through the fourth quarter. So it remains a uh, broad advance. Uh, what we'll need to be keeping an eye on as we get into next year is interest rates and valuations to see if the market starts to look stretched on, on a valuation basis, together with perhaps the economic growth having a positive impact on interest rates, which would be something new for the market to contend with, and that together with earnings momentum reaching some kind of uh, a new high which starts to suggest maybe a lot of the good news have been priced in, and that would leave the market vulnerable to an economic slowdown uh, maybe later next year, starting in the U.S. and perhaps uh, broadening out globally. But for right now, I would say the outlook for the market look, remains very good for the fourth quarter, and we re continue to recommend 70% equity allocation, which would be maximum exposure to the stock market, uh, overweighting equities and underweighting bonds. Thank you. Yeah.